Hello, this is Alex from Trainer Day. I'm going to show you how to load a training plan into Google Calendar. So you clone a plan or create a private plan, and once you've got that private plan or you've got this download link here, um, you set your start week. So it's important, it doesn't matter which day you set, but you should probably start it next week or the following week or you know in the future. But I'll just go ahead and select next week. I will download my, it depends on what type of application you're going to let's say ride in, if you're gonna ride in, let's say, uh, you know, use uh, Golden Cheetah or something, you might use an MRC file. If you're going to ride in Zwift, you might do a Zwift file, but you could still put use the calendaring in Google Calendar. So I'll just go ahead and download MRC. Um, I click that, I get this winter base. It came into my download folders as a zip. I'll un unarchive that zip. I'll look in here, and now I've got a CSV folder here, or CSV file. Um, either in Excel, you can open that up, or you could open it up in Google Docs. You could import it into Google Docs or Google Sheets, I guess it's called. Um, but I'll, I'll open it in Excel, so I'll go ahead and open it here. I've got it. It shows me all of my workouts. It shows what day it's going to be on, based on the days that you chose. It's going to always put it at 1 o'clock. You could actually change the time if you wanted. Um, you know, here in, in Excel, uh, or you could do it after you import. It actually gives you stuff like stress and everything, and it gives you these text descriptions. So if it's a good outdoor plan, you can actually see here, you can see these text descriptions, and it will, based on your wattage that you have entered, it'll tell you to do six minutes at 74 watts, six minutes at, you know, so... This is one of the most useful ways if you're trying to do it outdoors and do it manually um, is, to, is to import that one. So let me show you on Google Calendar. So I'm going to come back. I went to Google Calendar Import CSV. I clicked on the first link. Um, I click on Computer. It's going to be by far the easiest. Uh, oops, it didn't work. Computer. And then it said... Um, and this is, oops, import into Google Calendar. And if I want to create or edit a CSV file, so it says here, create a CSV file. So it tells you you need something called subject, start date, and start time. So uh, I believe you can have something called description also, if I'm not mistaken. Description, yes. So the, here's some optional fields. So the first ones are not optional. These are optional. So you just have to make sure and put those in here. So let's call this one description. And in this description, you can also see that there's a, actually a link to the actual workout, which I could open up and you can see. And so then in your calendar, you'll have this link and you could click on it and actually see this, this workout. But anyway, so I'm going to use this for the description. I'm going to use, this is going to be the name. I think they called it, let's look at their instructions again. I think they, call, say, they called it subject. So this is going to be the subject. The workout time is going to be the start time. The workout day is going to be the start date. So I got start time, start date, subject, uh, they use lowercase start time and start date, so let's just do it perfectly like they suggest. Start date, start time. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little better. Sorry about that. Um, so, so I've got start date, start time, I've got description, I've got subject. So those are the only things that we really need. So all of the other columns I will just delete. I'm right clicking, clicking delete, time, day, week. You can delete all of those, and I can delete these. Okay, so I've got my subject of the event for the calendar. I've got the description, I've got the date, and I've got the time. So I go ahead and save that, and then, as you can see here, they have, say import CSV, and here they say you can use an editor like Google Sheets. I'm doing it in Excel, but it... There's instructions here on how to do it in Google Sheets. And then you go to your calendar, 
you go to the little gear settings. So I'll go to, and we click on import export. So I'll go to my calendar. Um, I will go to the gear, which is up here. Go to settings, import export. So I'll select a file from my computer. And uh, in my downloads, I've got this CSV file right there that I will go ahead and import. Then I say import. It's importing 16 different events. I think it finished. Let's see. Let's go back. And so we'll look at next week. Um, did it work? Oh, yeah, sweet spot. So I had it. I have it on like Tuesday, Thursday. So I can see my sweet spot at 1 p.m. And I can see the link, which I can click on to get to the actual workout. Now, if I'm in Google Calendar and um, and I'm using the free free version of uh, training peaks, for example, I could actually just come in each day, click real quick, come in here, and say send to training peaks. And then each day I just do that real quick, then it's going to show up in Zwift or on my Wahoo device or on my Garmin device, whatever I have training peaks uh, synced to. So that's a little bit more work. If you had the premium version of training peaks, you could sync it all at one time. Um, but if if you're using the free version, this would be a quick and easy way to, to, you know, have it sync to your devices. And thank you very much.